All right, uh, I've just got one of my training bats. Uh, it's actually my doubles bat uh, that has smooth rubber on both sides. I'm just going to play a forehand, a backhand, a forehand, a backhand, um, using firstly my neutral grip. Then I'm going to go to an extreme forehand grip, and then I'm going to go to extreme backhand grip, and just show you um, some of the problems that happen when you go to an extreme version of these grips. So let me fire up the robot. Okay, here's me using a nice neutral grip that allows me to have good coverage, uh, and comfortable coverage on both sides. So as you can see, very easy, comfortable, no problems adjusting that angle. From a neutral grip, I'm going to go to a heavy forehand grip, and you'll notice the forehand will be quite easy. The backhand's going to look a little bit awkward because I've lost some flexibility of movement. very awkward on that backhand side to get in turn. From a heavy forehand grip, I'm now going to go from past neutral to a heavier backhand grip um, and bring the thumb up the handle a little bit to help me. And what you'll notice is the backhand becomes more powerful, but the forehand becomes more awkward looking because I can no longer freely adjust my bandage here, my arm actually and wrist locks out. Backhand becomes very easy to generate power with, the forehand locks out of it. And that's what you see someone like Prianga some occasion doing. As you can see there, when I go into that heavier backhand style grip, the backhand becomes easier, but the forehand becomes more difficult because I've locked out a lot of my ability to adjust my bat angle. So the backhand becomes very easy to load up power, but my forehand, instead of being able to get on top of the ball easily, um, I have to, if I was neutral, I can get on top of it very easily just by turning wrist. Once I go to a backhand grip, it's hard for me to get on top, and you see a lot of sideways swing. And that's someone like Krianga, you'll see a lot of him playing back here big, big backhand, and occasionally on his forehand you'll see the thumb up the middle of his back, and he plays the forehand that way, because he's locked out his grip, he's gone for a big, big backhand grip. Um, Timo Bowles, quite similar as well, um, in that he, he changes that extreme forehand over the top, 
and changes back on the back end and he's constantly rotating groups. Um, so I guess the principle here is it's not that you can't change grip, it's just that it's not as easy and that each grip, if you're going to move away from a neutral grip, each one has its own set of compromises that you need to be aware of and be willing to live with if you're going to use that particular grip. So it's more a case of uh, not saying to use this and don't use that, but be aware of if you're going to use this, these are the consequences and does that suit your game. One thing more that I'll mention um, while I'm here is that if you watch the actual demonstration of me playing, um, what you'll notice is as well is that that changing of angle for me tends to throw off uh, the bad angle because I'm used to a neutral, fairly neutral grip. I'm comfortable with that angle. Once I start to change, um, it throws off my swing plane and my angle because I'm not used to it. Uh, if you're constantly changing between your forehand angle and your backhand angle, every time you get the angle, you grip a little bit wrong, your bat's going to be slightly in the wrong position and you're going to get an unexpected result. So again, it's another thing to be aware of, that if you're holding fairly neutral, your bat, you should be fairly used to where your bat is. Um, and it's tough enough when twiddling to get back to the correct bat angle when it's just neutral. But if you're twiddling and trying to get to a heavy forehand grip, or twiddling and trying to get to a heavy backhand grip, or heavy forehand on this side and heavy back on that side, plus trying to twiddle, what you've got is you've got a lot of things going on at once and a lot of chance of ending up with the bat not quite in the position you expect it to be, thus getting inconsistent results. So if you never twiddle, then you'll probably find, okay, that strange bat angle is going to be okay because you know what it is. Once you start twiddling and bringing twiddling into the mix, which for most people, oh, let me put this, a lot of people I recommend twiddling is a good, a good thing. But in order to make that effective, you have to be able to twiddle and come back to the same bat angle so that your bat's in the right position to play your normal strokes. If you're twiddling and ending up in wrong bat angles, so if you like a heavy forehand here, if you twiddle and you can't get back to that heavy forehand, you're going to struggle. So for those of you who are thinking of, yes, I probably would like to twiddle in the future, and I think probably for the majority of people, not necessarily 99%, but definitely for you know, somewhere around 7 out of 10 people, a little bit of twiddling is a good thing. It can break up the game and do a lot of good things for you. In those cases, I would suggest a fairly neutral grip because it's going to mean coming back to twiddling and coming back to a neutral grip is much easier than twiddling and coming back to a heavy forehand grip on this side versus twiddling and coming back to a heavy backhand grip on this side. Um, if you're always heavy, twiddling and coming back to an always heavy forehand, that's possible. Yeah, that, that could be okay as long as you're always coming back to the heavy, heavy grip. Um, although I would still think it might be worth your while to say, look, I'll live for two to three months. I'll live with the pain of trying to come to a neutral grip. Um, for most people, a neutral grip works best, but not for everybody. So you may be the exception, um, and that, that's up for you to decide. Um, not for me to tell you that you have to do this or have to do that. Um, there are certainly some people who use some unusual grips or variations and make it work very well, and you may be one of them. Um, for most people, though, a standard neutral grip is going to work best. Um, simply because it allows you the widest range of options and it keeps things simple and um, I'm a big believer in keeping things simple.